Okay, I would say that, you know, just as I try to outline a very short, the, the US centric notion, Cuba, like my, my view, if to evaluate a country, we cannot compare, for example, Cuba to the United States. We have to deal with Cuba and its own historical co context. Cuba in the 19th century waged a, a war against uh, Spanish domination. And in the course of that war, they uh, established a revol one revolutionary party led by Jose Marti, who was the national hero of Cuba. They led that war successfully with one party that was able to uh, mobilize around itself an overwhelming majority of people to free Cuba from Spanish control. This was only came to a halt when in 1898, the United States, under the pretext of the USS Maine blowing up, came in so, to so-called help the Cuban people. But in fact, they replaced Spain and colonized uh, Cuba once again. Now, Cuba basically led, led uh, was had some kind of, you know different aspects of, of dictatorship from 1950, 19, 1898 to the 1950s. An important historical event took place in 1953 when Fidel Castro, Raúl Castro, Che Guevara, and others they organized the first attempt against the Batista regime in 1953, the, you know, July 26, 1953. It failed, but at the same time, they came back later on in 19, 1957 and finally overthrow, overthrew the Batista dictatorship to have what I would say for the first time in its history, the Cuban people had power in its own hands as a result of the struggle. They actually participated in the struggle in the countryside when it finally triumphed in 1959. So I w at, at that time, there was, no, there was no elections, there was no such thing as one or two parties in 1959, but the political power was in the hands of the people. I would characterize uh, Cuban democracy as real participatory democracy. In other words, they see it as their revolution, their democracy, their social system, which they ha have been striving to develop despite all the odds, such as the blockade, right since 1959. They, uh, Cuba did not have elections until 1976, when uh, a new electoral law was passed. Uh, and only then did you, ha the, did you have elections take place. But it's an entirely different thing when we go into elections, I guess, later on in the program, how that operates, because it's a bit complicated. But the thing to keep in mind, Cuba is Cuba. They had their experience from the 19th century, and their own experience from 1953 to present. have to be uh, taken into account based on their own experience and their, no their own history, not with a false comparison to the uh, historical evolution of the United States.